Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Okay, welcome back. So, what we wanted to, uh, what we did last time is to talk about signs of permutations. And this was defined to be the, the in some sense you, you, you first take the number of crossings of the permutation which could be pictorially read off from the crossing diagram or tangle for the permutation. And then if it is even then you, you declare the sign to be plus 1 and if the number of crossings is odd you declare the sign of the permutation to be a minus 1 okay? also called even and odd permutations. Now uh, I wanted to do a few more examples of these. So let us try and find signs of cycles. So here is two examples of you take uh, n to be 4 and you take the permutation pi to be the cycle 1, 2, 3, 4. So, which I will write first in two line notation 1 going to 2, 2 going to 3, 4, 1. So, this is the, the cycle written in two line notation and also notice that the other notation for permutations that we looked at is what we call cycle notation. So, in cycle notation the same permutation would be just represented by the, the 4 numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 written in brackets. Okay? This is to be thought of as meaning 1 goes to 2, goes to 3, goes to 4, goes back to 1. Okay, so, what is the sign of this pi? So, that is the question. So, let us draw the, the tangle diagram for pi. So, 1 maps to 2, 2 maps to 3, 3 maps to 4 and 4 maps to 1. Okay, so, here is the tangle diagram for pi. This satisfies all the rules for drawing tangle diagrams correctly. So, the number of crossings is 1, 2 and 3. So, the number of crossings in this case is 3 and so, the permutation pi is odd. Now, similarly of course, if you drew a permutation the diagram for the 5 cycle. So, I take pi to be now I will just use cycle notation 1 goes to 3 goes to 4 goes to 5 goes to 1 and again imagine drawing the. So, here is the uh, tangle for this 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 4, 4 goes to 5 and 5 goes back to 1. And now the number of crossings is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, there are 4 crossings and therefore, this permutation now is even okay? because there are 4 crossings here. So, from this it is kind of clear how cycles behave if you have a, a cycle of even length say 1, 2, 3 going on till some even number then that permutation would have sign minus 1 and if you have a permutation uh, a cycle with odd length say going 1 through 5 then that would have even even number of crossings and therefore it would be an even permutation now uh, here's a slightly more general example we'll still look for a, a four crossing but we'll do this with uh, let's say n equals 7 okay so what does this mean so let me take my example. So, let me take sigma to be the following. It is a 4 cycle which sends 1 to 3 to 5 to 7 and then it leaves the remaining numbers as it is 2, 4, 6. Okay. So, here is the permutation sigma written out in cycle notation. So, recall what does this really mean? So, let us draw the tangle diagram for this. So, let me first draw 1, 3, 5 and 7. So, here is 1, 3, 5, 7. 
So, what this permutation does is well it is a 4 cycle if you think of only these numbers 1, 3, 5 and 7. So, 5 goes to 7 and 7 maps to 1 ok. So, that is the that is the diagram if you only looked at the numbers 1, 3, 5 and 7 and the number of crossings here is of course, the same as the number of crossings in, a, in the other 4 cycle that we drew. So, there will be 1, 2, 3. So, there are exactly 3 crossings ok as far as these 4 numbers are concerned. But of course, we still need to throw in the other numbers. So, for instance, there is 2, 4 and 6. Now, what this, this permutation does is, is it maps 2 to 2. So, I just need to draw a straight line which, which joins 2 and 2 just taking care to ensure that the rules for tangles are preserved. So, for instance, I do not want to have 3 things passing through a single point. So, when I join 4 to 4, I just need to take a little care to ensure that it does not pass through the same point. So, similarly 6 to 6 ok. So, here are uh, the 3 extra curves that you need to throw in 2 going to 2, 4 going to 4 and 6 going to 6 ok. So, now in addition to the 3 crossings that you already had amongst the, the lines which joined 1, 3, 5 and 7 what we now have are well a few more lines a few more crossings. So, let us count the number of crossings. So, observe that the red line which joins 2 to 2 it accounts for 2 crossings because it meets the line joining 1 to 3 as well as the line joining 7 to 1. So, there are 2 crossings the line the red line which joins 4 to 4 again accounts for 2 crossings the red line joining 6 to 6 again accounts for 2 crossings. Okay. So, the total number of crossings is well how do we count the number of crossings? So, the number of crossings is therefore, the following there were 3 original crossings plus the crossings that come from the red lines well they look like 2 times well each of those red lines contributes a 2. So, it is 2 plus 2 plus 2 1 for each red line. So, this is the crossings. involving the red lines ok and these are the, the crossings that only involve the white lines. So, these are crossings that do not involve the red lines. So, not involving the red lines so I should say these are crossings that involve at least one red line. So, involving a red line. Okay, so, you, you count the crossings in, in these different ways you look at the crossings in which at least one of the 2 curves is a red line that is counted by this and then you look at the crossings in which you do not think about the red lines at all only look at the white lines. And so, since we are only interested in whether or not this the number of crossings is even so observe that the number of crossings in this case is still odd. because it really only depends on whether the, the original number of crossings was, was even or odd the number of crossings not involving the red lines ok. So, this turns out to be the, the general phenomenon. So, if you wrote down a permutation like this. So, a permutation like a, a sigma here you would often also call this a 4 cycle it really only permutes these 4 numbers in a cyclical fashion it does not do anything to the other numbers. So, when you have a, a permutation like this the sign of this permutation is just the same as the sign of the, the underlying 4 cycle ok which is it is it is an odd permutation or if say this were a 5 cycle and these were all being mapped to themselves the sign of this would just be the sign of that that 5 cycle portion ok. So, this this observation here is uh, sort of it is it is very useful. So, the number of crossings is odd therefore, the sign of sigma is in fact minus 1. So, let us just do a more complicated example now which tells you how to put 2 different cycles together. 
So, let us take this example now, again let us take n equal to 7, let us take a permutation which maps 1, 3, 5, 7 to themselves, but let us now do 2, 4, 6 also map cyclically amongst themselves. Okay. So, it is a this notation here remember means that 1, 3, 5 and 7 form a 4 cycle and then 2, 4, 6 amongst themselves form a 3 cycle. Now, the question is what is the sign of such a permutation? Okay. Of course, conceivably what one could do is to try and count the total number of crossings. We could look at uh, you know draw the same sort of diagram in which you would have a 4 cycle and then a, a angle diagram for a 3 cycle, but then they would all be criss crossing each other in a rather complicated fashion. So, instead of sort of just counting it by brute force, here is something that well okay, here is the question. So, here is the key observation that we will use to simplify this calculation. So, here is a key observation. You can think of pi as really being the following pi can be thought of as being the composition of two permutations. So, remember we talked about the composition of permutations. So, this is sigma 1 composed with sigma 2 where well what sigma 1? Sigma 1 is the permutation that we just wrote out 1, 3, 5, 7 the 4 cycle in which the remaining 3 are unchanged and sigma 2 is the 3 cycle 2, 4, 6 with 1, 3, 5, 7 unchanged. Okay. So, the key observation is that you can now use this notion of composition that we talked about and obtain the given permutation pi really as a composition of two simpler pieces, one being sigma 1 and the other being sigma 2. Okay. So, I have leave this as an exercise for you to check that in fact, the composition of these two permutations does give you back the original permutation pi. So, now we go back to this whole business of sign and the relationship of sign to composition and so on. So, recall from before the sine function is really multiplicative with respect to composition. So, if I had sigma 1 compose sigma 2, the sine of the composition is just the product of the two signs. Okay. So, this is really the uh, you know the, the important reason why compositions are are especially suited when you want to try and understand signs. If you can write your original permutation as a composition, then the sign is just a product of the signs of the, the individual constituents. So, here it is just a sign of pi 1 uh, sigma 1 and sign of sigma 2, but observe we have already talked about how to understand the sign of sigma 1 okay, and that is exactly the thing that we wrote out here sigma 1 is really the permutation which which cyclically permutes 1, 3, 5, 7 and does nothing to 2, 4, 6. So, it is the sign of, of sigma is really just the sign of whatever this, this 4 cycle part is. Okay. The things which map to themselves the red lines so to speak always contribute an even number of crossings. So, they do not really contribute to the sign of the permutation. So, the sign of sigma 1 would really just be the sign of the 4 cycle. So, the, which is minus 1 as we said and similarly the sign of sigma 2. So, notice sigma 2 in our definition was just the 3 cycle 2, 4, 6 and in which the remaining just map to themselves. So, they are sort of like the red lines in our picture, they will contribute an even number of crossings and we only really need to worry about the number of crossings between which only involve the lines joining 2, 4 and 6. So, here it is a sign of the 3 cycle 2, 4, 6 which is a plus 1. Okay. And so, putting these together the sign of the original permutation pi is just the product of these two signs therefore, it is a minus 1. Okay. So, here is a way of really understanding uh, signs by 
making full use of this whole uh, of, of composition as an operation. So and finally using this, this business here is uh, the last thing that uh, would be nice to do in this business if you have n uh, let us say a natural number let us do the following total number of permutations of n remember is just n factorial. So, for n equals 4 for instance. So, recall this uh, old table that we talked about the notion of cycle types or cycle structure. So, the various cycle types that we talked about you can have a 4 cycle or you can have a 3 cycle and a 1 cycle, you can have a 2 cycle and another 2 cycle. 2 cycle and 2 1 cycles or 4 1 cycles. These are the various possible cycle types when you are trying to permute 4 numbers and the number of permutations of each type. So, the number of permutations of each of these cycle types we had worked out before it is uh, 6, 8, 3, 6 and 1. And finally, since we talked about signs right now, it is natural to wonder which of these permutations are odd and which are even. Okay, so, we could ask uh, which of these permutations are odd and which are even and we already have the, the techniques to, to answer these questions. For instance, a 4 cycle if you have a permutation which is just a 4 cycle we just talked about uh, signs of cycles a 4 cycle is always odd. Okay, so, I will just write minus 1 for odd. Now, if I have a 3 cycle together with a 1 cycle, so we, we again just did this when you have uh, say a cycle decomposition it is a product of 2 cycles it is you can think of it as a composition of 2 permutations and so it is just the, the, the product of the signs of each of these guys. So, a 3 cycle would be even and a 1 cycle would be even a, a product of 2 evens is again even. So, this is a sign plus 1. Similarly, here we do the same thing here there is a 2 cycle composed with another 2 cycle a 2 cycle is odd another 2 cycle is therefore, also odd. <coughs> so, a product of 2 odds odd permutation is an even permutation. Now, here a 2 cycle is odd 1 cycles are both even. So, odd times even times even will still give you an odd permutation. And finally, each of these ones is really a even permutation. So, this is the, the full list which of uh, given a cycle type is it odd or even and the answers are right there. So, let us uh, count the total number of odds and total number of even permutations. So, which of these are the odds? Well, the first row there are 6 odd permutations with cycle structure 4 there are another 6 odd permutations with cycle structure 2 1 1. Okay, so, between these there are 12 permutations with uh, 12 odd permutations and the even permutations are there are 8 of them with cycle structure 3 1, 3 of them with cycle structure 2 2 and finally, 1 with cycle structure 1 1 1 1. So, these 3 together again gives you 12. Okay, so, there are half the number of odd and half the number of even permutations okay. and this is in fact a, a statement which is true in general that n factorial divided by 2 permutations would be even and the remaining n factorial by 2 permutations would be odd. Okay. So, uh, it is it is probably a nice exercise to try and prove this fact that in general half the number of permutations are odd and the other half are even. So, let me just state this as as a problem, problem prove that the number of even permutations is n factorial by 2. Okay. And another exercise is to try and work out this table that I just did 
for n equals 5. Okay, so, here is another exercise problem that I would like you to try out uh, is to, to work out this table. So, uh, write down the entries of this table for n equals 5. So, the same table that we just drew. Okay, write out all the possible cycle structures for n equals 5 and for each of them work out the number of permutations with that cycle structure and also work out whether that permutation would be an odd permutation or an even permutation. And from that conclude that you know at least uh, see that half of n factorial. So, 5 factorial in this case is 120. So, you should get 60 even permutations and 60 odd permutations in all. Okay. So, okay. so next time we will talk a little bit more about uh, permutations.